Yes, Pad. I'm not saying we can't get bits for the house. I'm just saying we've got bigger things to think about right now. Yeah, I know, but it's Sunday and I just I wanted to get it done, you know? It's getting light out and people are waking up. Let's just get this done, meet the buyer, and then we'll wrap it up and go shopping after. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Okay, well, how do you want to do this? Just go and grab it, I reckon. Yes, Pad, but it's locked. I could pick the lock. Do you know how to pick a lock? I can't be that hard, can you? People train for years in that type of stuff, Pad. I don't think it's just something that just happens. Hang on, I'll have a look. Today, I'm going to show you how to pick a padlock. Oh, shut the fuck up, you wake her up. And to help you. Pat Crabber! Whoa! Back up! Fuck, hurry up before we're seen. Hey, what have I told you about calling me fat? I knew you'd screw that up. Listen, we've got the girl. Let's just go and meet Frank and get this done with. we still got like three hours before we're due to meet him. Well, we can always do the shopping. All right, let's go get it done. If it'll shut you up. In and out though, Pad. No messing about. Okay. I'll buy you a burger. Now hurry up. Pat, hurry the fuck up, would you? Yeah, all right. Don't rush me. You're late. We had to drive slow, Frank. Didn't want her bumping her head. <laughs> Don't care. You're not taking her on a Thomas Cook all-inclusive. Don't give her monkeys about her bumping her head. Oh, right. I figured a concussion would hinder the interviewing process. Don't get smart with me. You're almost half an hour late. Sorry. I've also got a fever. It's like making Superman wait at the kryptonite mine and keeping him there half an hour after time. I said I'm sorry. It's not good enough. You need to be more professional. Don't question our professionalism, Frank. We do this for a living. Yeah, we're pros, mate. You tell him, eh? Yeah, I'm sure you are. And Patrick is the Oliver Hardy of the kidnapping world, for sure. Eh? Ignore him, Pad. He's just jealous he's the go-between. Doesn't get the thrill of the kidnap, the adrenaline in the chase. Yeah, 
But I'm sure the big idiot loves chasing the teenage girls through the woods. I, on the other hand, am happy being the go-between. No messing around, deliver the package, keep me nose clean. She wasn't even in the woods. We caught her in a caravan. All right, Pad. Simmer down. Well, where is she? We want our money first. Up front. Right, okay. You want to prove you've got her first, you fucking idiots? You don't think we have her? I don't fucking see her, do I? <laughs> he thinks we're lying, Pad. Oh, I don't get paid enough to deal with you two bellings. He thinks we stuffed some pillows in a bag and tried to pass it off as a spoiled little rich girl. What a dick. Don't make me ask again. Where the fuck is she? Oh, you have little faith, Frankie boy. She, she was... Well, she didn't turn into a bag of pickled onion fucking monster munch now, did she, people? Patrick, mate. Where's the girl? Hey. Uh, Patrick, did you? What? Did you take the girl out of the boot? Well, I did, but I didn't want Frank to know we'd been shopping. So I took her out, I put the shopping in, and I covered it with blankets. And you didn't put the fucking girl back in it? Well, if anything, you were shouting at me, so this is your fault. Oh, I take it back. Listen here, monkeys. Did you two do your weekly shop while you were on a kidnap job? Well, we had like two hours to kill before- Shut it! Did you take the girl out of the boot in the car park? Well, I did, but in my defence, I, I was oh too focused- Oh my fucking lord! You're a kidnapper! You're not on the fucking catering! So, you've left a found kidnapped victim in a supermarket car park? Yeah, I guess so. Oh I'm yeah, is that really sure customer service? Happened. Yeah, basically, I, I've left my friend in the car park. She's got like, rope around her wrists, you know tied up in that. Yeah. But she's there, cool, perfect. Um, so basically, yeah, I'll just come pick her up. Yeah, it would be like 10 minutes. My name's Patrick, I'll be with my friend Emma. Um, yeah, see you then, cheers. Sorted lads, no problem at all. You're having a fucking laugh. You two are the biggest fucking idiots I've met in my fucking life. You are never gonna believe what these morons have fucking done. Bye. <laughs>